let's first put up an image right now of this man and then we're going to talk about it and i know ladies 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 or maybe some gents yes he's an attractive man but no that doesn't mean that he gets to do what it is that he has done okay let's get into this article now it says Okaluza, hopefully i'm pronouncing that right academy teacher pulls gun on teen during road rage incident let's get into it y'all uh, Walken County, Florida, an Okaloosa County teacher was arrested Thursday following a road rage incident where he pulled a gun on a teenager, according to the sheriff's office. 36-year-old Brandon Gregor Crumbly of Freeport is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, improper display of a firearm, and obstruction. According to the Walton County Sheriff's Office, the Okaloosa or Okaloosa Academy Charter School teacher was involved in a road rage incident that took place on August 2nd. Uh, deputies say Crumbly brake checked a car driven by a 16 year old. So this part was a little weird because they had a video and in the video they said that Crumbly was brake checked by a 16 year old, which would mean 16 year old was in front he was in the back but here it says that crumbly brake checked a car driven by a 16 year old which means he was in the front and the 16 year old was in the back which one's accurate i don't know the writing is saying one thing the other one's saying the other but you know tomato tomato let's continue the sheriff's office says in a release a short time later crumbly was parking his vehicle at his apartment complex when the victim drove by rolling down his window and words were exchanged so this makes more sense that crumbly was in the front so i think they may have misspoke or maybe i misheard but it makes more sense that crumbly was in the front the 16 year old was in the back 16 year old followed him to his apartment complex Okay. Oh, words were exchanged. As the driver passed by, he told deputies Crumley lifted his shirt, revealing a firearm. Okay, so he went like boom. Okay. Investigators share surveillance footage from the incident that shows Crumley holding the gun over his head, waving it and pointing it at the victim's vehicle. Now, what I'm going to do right now is show you just an image. Okay. Because you two be extra when i be putting videos in here and they're like oh no you can't put the video in here because da, 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 whatever so i'm gonna just show you a picture so this is supposed to be crumbly and that's supposed to be a gun now you may say well alex ah, there's if you watch the full video you see it looks like a gun okay so i'm going to assume the whole thing actually is a gun it's not just some bs okay and he walks around he's like this with the gun or whatever and then he turns around with it so that's what's going on with that okay so um they said that he was waving it was pointing at the victim's vehicle when crumley was questioned during the investigation he lied and said he never removed the gun from the holster or used in a threatening way according to the sheriff's office but they got him on camera doing it okay i mean they got him <laughs> uh, they could match the time and all that and clothing or whatever they got him after deputies uh, review surveillance, uh, surveillance video, it was found Crumbly not only lied, but appeared to taunt the victim with the weapon, deputies say and said in a re-release. As the vehicle was seen leaving the area, Crumbly is seen holding the gun over his head, pointed at the victim's vehicles, uh, vehicle and then towards the sky as if to wave him back towards him. A warrant was sent out for Crumley's arrest and he was found Thursday at his home in Hammock Trail East in Freeport. Crumley was taken to the Walton County Jail and released Friday more than a $10,000 bond, which would then be what, $1,000? So that right there is like, you know what I mean? Uh, that's one of the things, you know, when people have a gun and it's like, just because of that, which here's two parts to it okay because you did you break checked him whatever you went to your apartment you did what you did me personally i don't like when people break check people and the reason being is because when you break i feel like this you know you're not the police so it's like you're break checking me but you're not the cops you know what i mean I'm not sure what lane you're in left or right or if it was a single, but still, you know what I mean? Um, then you have the 16 year old who instigated the situation because you could have just been like, whatever, F this dude, and then just kept going, right? But instead, 
yo arse went over to where his apartment is as he's getting out of his car and then you're over here probably said i mean you you exchanged words with him so i'm assuming explosives you know all this kind of stuff you know f you who do you think you are and this and that and you know da -ra -ta -ra -ta -ra, whatever oh i could kill you and da -ra -ra. and that's probably when he pulled out his gun and was like oh really you know and then oh, oh oh cops cops look he's a terrible guy he did this to me and da -ra -ra. but you came over there i'm not saying what crumley did was right here's a picture of him i'm not saying what he did was right however you did come over to him words were exchanged not necessarily sure what it is that you said to him but whatever you said whatever you have done then made him want to pull out his gun now he didn't shoot thank goodness but this is also something just because you have a weapon doesn't mean you need to be pulling out at any given time but also he probably did feel threatened because we don't know what the 16 year old said and we see how disrespectful these kids are nowadays okay we see how disrespectful both of these uh, a lot of these kids are and the fact that you were probably tailgating him and you admit it uh, he break checked me people only break check when you're tailgating so you were probably driving extremely recklessly getting all up on him and then you went and followed him then you probably went and cussed him out i'm assuming that's what it was you cussed him out da -da 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 -da, and then now he's like, oh, okay, you want to play big tough guy here? Oh, cops, cops, cops. Look, he, he, he's a terrible guy. Look, 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 But weren't you just threatening him? Didn't you just do all this other stuff? But we're not going to mention what you said. We're just going to mention only what this guy's reaction is, but we're not going to mention what you said. Okay. Um, so I found that to be kind of like, I don't know. It's like, I'm kind of leaning a little bit more on the teacher side just because you were instigating things and we don't know what you said we don't know if maybe you pulled out a fake gun or maybe if you said i'm gonna get my dudes and come here tonight in the hour or whatever and then he said okay try it we're only seeing one side of the story but we're not seeing what you did besides well yeah i mean i i, I stalked him and followed him all the way to his house you know his apartment complex and i you know cursed him out but i'm not the i'm the victim here Mm, I don't know and road rage for me I'm just like I don't know my grandma should be like you got that road rage my mom be saying the same thing too I don't have road rage I just don't like things to take longer than they need to the speed limit is 60 let's go 60 64 you know but if we're going 59 55 50 come on you know what I mean um so for me I'm not one of those people that's like oh got a need for speed or anything like that I just don't like things taking longer you got people who don't go when it's a green light you know so I gotta do a little courtesy you know honk to get you moving um then you have people who don't use signals so then things may take longer because I could have made a turn but you're not using a signal and I know you're not going to use a signal like even yesterday you you didn't use a signal you got over and it made it so that i could have possibly missed my turn you know what i mean so it's just a lot of little things for me personally but i want to kind of continue because i did see a post and someone or a comment and someone actually said florida law states that any driver under the age of 18 is to be with a valid licensed driver of the age of 21. it sounds by the sheriff's statements that the 16 year old was the instigator and the aggressor of the road rage which operating while operating a vehicle without the above 21 year old okay but well let's continue it uh then followed the man back to his re residence stand your ground there is something seriously effed up with the sheriff and this 16 year old juvenile delinquent committing felonies in this county so that's one of the things it's like like i said he was definitely the aggressor in here but one thing i do want to point out they said that florida law sticks that any driver under the age of 18 is to be with the valid licensed driver the of the age of 21 so i wouldn't pull it up to kind of show that's not really accurate uh, and it says right here it says florida driver's license restrictions for 16 year olds and it says driving is allowed between 6 a.m and 11 p.m without a licensed adult so you could drive once you have your license uh, from 6 a.m to 11 p.m without a license and this looked pretty bright in the day you know if anything five six o'clock or something like that this looked pretty bright in the day so 
he would have been in his right to not have a 21 year old but they do say must be accompanied by a licensed driver of at least 21 years old occupying the closest seat to the right of the driver or be traveling to and from work if driving after 11 p.m so that's the thing um it doesn't seem like maybe he unless you're after the 11 o'clock it doesn't seem like you need it you know so that's where and plus it like i said it seemed like this was well before 11 p.m anyways but yeah i mean this is just one of those things you know for me road rage it's like just just you know this teen he went and instigated it and now we're looking oh teacher bad guy teacher bad guy bad guy and it's like but you followed him one you were tailgating him that's what that is no one no one is going to brick check you if you're not on their arse you know what i mean and then not only did you tailgate him but then you stalked him and followed him to his crib you know what i mean you don't find that to be problematic you know and then you had exchanged words with him that's already three right there that you have done that you really shouldn't have been doing anyways you know what i mean so we'll see what happens with all this like i said um i'm kind of leaning more on the teacher's side not condoning what he did at all however i don't think that you should be following someone and stalking them to then go in and exchange words and possible threats hey i greatly appreciate if you could support me simply go to ebay.com in the search bar type in latrice limited click on shops and then support me i have a wide variety of items on there many of my own personal latrice limited items such as candles bath bombs soaps essential oil blends lingerie robes so much stuff i even have men's ties and comic books on there definitely support me and do not forget to like and subscribe thank you